with a thankful heart and a song of praise. We've come to you, gathered in this place, for the things you've done and for who you are. We worship you with a thankful heart, with a thankful heart and a song of praise. We've come to you, gathered in this place for the things you've done and for who you are. Worship you with a thankful heart. So we lift up. So we lift up our praise and we lift up our sacrifice to you. Lord, we offer our prayers and we offer our lives in gratitude for all. You with a thankful heart, with a thankful heart, we will give you praise. You've been so good, covered us with grace. You have been our strength in a time so dark. Worship you with a thankful heart. So we lift up our praise. We lift up our praise and we lift up our sacrifice to you. Lord, we Good morning, Holy Spirit, for designing us to function in the power of praise and worship to the glory of God. Majestic and glorious God, we praise and worship you for equipping and inspiring us to grow and flourish, finding the joy and fulfillment that only life in the presence of Almighty God can bring. May your eternal purpose dwell in the midst of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 12, chapter 7, verse 12, that then someone took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shem. He named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far has the Lord helped us. First Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. The Israelites had great difficulty with the Philistines. But God rescued them in their battle with the Philistines. In response, the people set up a large stone as a monument of God's great help and deliverance. Friends, during tough times, such as we are experiencing now, in our today world, we may need to remember the crucial turning points in our past to help us through the present. Memorials can help us remember God's past victories and gain confidence and strength for the present. But it was when the people of Israel lamented after the Lord and repented 
returned as well as reformed and show their complete dedication to God that God brought the victory. Friends, I believe the journey from Ichabod, the glory has departed from Israel or the church to Ebenezer. Thus far, the Lord has helped us. And also from the absence of God's presence to the help of his hand can happen today if the church of the living God will humble themselves rededicate themselves and renew their covenant with Jehovah God, then the glory of God used to describe God's favor and blessings toward his people will reside as a symbol of his presence among and in us as his children or as his end time church. Notice Jesus said, My Father's house will be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But now, it's your house, not as Jesus said, My Father's house, as he used it to call it. Because God has left the house. Therefore, Ichabod. God is no longer there it's not the father's house it's your house because of unfaithfulness and the house are turned into a marketplace a place for making profit not a place of worship anymore why should we abandon it to room it is in this place of abandonment god has left us it is a terrible thing to experience the loss of the glory of God. And one wonders how many churches today have lost the glory of the Lord, whether willingly or unknowingly. Beloved, don't take the glory in our midst for granted. Least we wake up one day and find that Ichabod has become a reality among us. Therefore, the need to examine our Christian faith at this time of the year to see whether we are in the faith and test ourselves as well to see if we really were righteous people of God. Just as we get physical checkups, May this Thanksgiving season also urge us to give ourselves spiritual checkups as it helps us to grow closer to God and His favor and His supernatural blessings strengthens His glory on you and me and our family as well. May the good Lord richly bless you in all your endeavors this wonderful day. Have a glorious day and stay blessed. With a thankful heart, we will give you praise. You've been so good, covered us with grace. You have been our strength in a time so dark. So we worship you. With a thankful heart, so we lift up our praise. We lift up our praise, and we lift up our sacrifice to you, Lord. We offer our prayers, and we offer our lives in gratitude. We lift up our praise. Lord, we offer our prayers and we 
we worship you with a thankful heart. Oh, we give you thanks. Oh. 